Is it a good idea to do that while you're standing on top of it? Yeah, right. <laughs> I think we're going to need a bigger hammer. Oh. Right, Tony's finished all his jobs in Juke 2 for the time being, and just until he's got to put up some curtain rails and things like that, which we're not quite ready for. So he's moving on to his new project. What he's going to do, he's going to sort this corner of the balcony out and our access into that part of the building. And he needs to remove these concrete stairs, which are really heavy, and they're causing a crack in the wall, and we get a little bit of damp coming in. So I'm going to take you up there and see what he's up to. He's got a very big drill, look. And that looks a bit rude. <laughs> That's better. Is it going to be noisy? Best we don't stand underneath there then. Pardon? Best we don't stand underneath that bit. No, I wouldn't. We'll take it down before it falls down. Yeah, so it's not very safe looking, no. is it? All this bit under here is not safe. Good idea to do that while you're standing on top of it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Drilling some holes to get started, right. So Tony started by drilling quite a few holes to get started and now you've put the, it's like a Kango blade thing isn't it? Yeah. So what's like a hammer? Jack yeah. hammer? What do you call that Tony? What did you say? What do you call that? Um, I don't know, concrete buster I suppose. Concrete buster. <laughs> right, I don't like the idea that you're standing on it while you're doing that. Don't worry about that, I'll get enough warning. Look where it's come away already yeah, from. It's come away before I started here. Yeah, see this is why it needs repairing. You see where the crack is in the wall here? Um, and the crack's there where it's attached. Yeah, well you see the angle of this? And the angle of this balcony, yeah. So all the rainwater hits the top here and goes straight into the side of the wall. Yeah, the rainwater then is obviously it's sloping off towards the house, which is making this wall damp, which has made it crack. Which, which made that beam crack here? Yeah, big this big beam, beam along the edge here. I think we're going to have to do something with that. It has been repaired before. Yep. I mean, this building here, look, this building is uh, very wonky. <laughs> but it's always been like that, hasn't it? Well, I should think when they first put it up, it wasn't. Um, it's, it's sort of joined between two buildings and it's never been quite straight, I don't think. But yeah, obviously over the years it's moved. Yeah. But that's not going to... That's not going to fall, is it? No, all I want to do is take the weight. The, I, don't, I don't know how many tonnes sitting on that one two-inch post down there. 
Which yeah. Is I can't see the post at the minute. Yes, it's down there. There's a single metal post, and now we've got an acro next to it down there. Over the years, someone's concreted this. Yeah. Concreted them stairs. They've put a lot of weight out. on here, haven't they? Take this out, them stairs out, and that platform under the stairs. Yeah. Which is obviously this is this is the bit underneath where all the bricks are loose and yeah yeah so it all needs stabilising and strengthening doesn't it so yeah. what are you doing to replace it I'm putting a what we call a, a concrete pan here yeah on this it, top ledge top shelf with, um, three quarters with it with sand and cement yeah obviously when it's all level and I've repaired all the steel work. Yeah, so it will drain then, away from the building as opposed to towards then, uh, it. Put some stone slabs on top. Yeah, so it's still going to be weighty. Not as half as weighty as what it was. Okay, so it's going to be a lot lighter, and then you're going to support it better, aren't you? Yes. What are you going to support it with underneath? Don't know yet, until I start hacking it away and see what I've got left. Right, and then these stone, these concrete steps have got to come out. Yeah. And we're replacing those with cast. Uh, cast treads, yeah. Which again, they're lighter. Yeah, a lot lighter, yeah. I know cast is heavy, but it's not as heavy as this. That's, that's solid concrete. There's got to be a tonne weight and just doing three steps there, isn't it? Yeah. That's going to be some work getting that out. Yes. Okay, right, I'll leave you to it, and I'll come back and see when you've okay. made a bigger hole in it. Yeah. You made a hole. It's obviously reinforced. Yes. Um, that bracket's going to be going, isn't it? Uh, don't know yet. What am I going to tie my washing line to? <laughs> New bit. Stop the job. <laughs> Quick, stop the job. I won't have anywhere to put my washing line. Is it hard work? Uh, not just as I expected. Yeah. Well, it's not easy work, is it? No, nothing's easy. No, of course it's not. It seems an awful lot of mess. Yes. For a very not very big hole. Once time you've finished it, there's going to be a whole lot to get rid of, isn't there? Mm. Oh, well. And then that. See, this is getting worse. This has got worse since we've been here. Which is why yeah. Tony's obviously propped it up this corner. But, yeah, this is... Quite an urgent job, so uh, we need to protect that light somehow as well, don't we? Yes. So will you take the steps out before you take this bottom bit, obviously? Oh, God, That's yes. holding the steps up, isn't it? Yeah. Or sort of holding the steps up. Yes, indeed. Right. You've got the metal reinforcing on, you've got that whole, that whole big step's gone now then. So you're trying to demolish these? Yes. Concrete steps here now, and it's proven a bit more difficult. It's rock hard. Oh, rock hard. They cast these concrete steps. Yeah. Into that lump of metal. Now I did that small Irish clay across there. Now, okay. The theory is, I've chopped one bolt off the other side, and I've chopped these two bolts off. And there shouldn't be anything holding this up. Oh, but you're you're standing on it. Oh. So you're going to cut the metal out? Yeah. I'm not liking this idea, Tone. Well, Especially not I while you're standing on it. Yes. We'll find out. What do you Yeah. 
There's wind noise, it's a bit breezy out here. Please. Oh, what? Move. Oh, don't. Is it all going to come crashing down? Yeah, yeah but onto what? Oh, oh dear. Stuff's crumbling, I can hear it. Pardon? I can hear stuff crumbling, but don't forget that that's quite dodgy on that end there. Yeah. The whole lot might come down as a chair underneath it, but I'm not sure I want to stand under it to move it. Do you want a, a bigger hammer? No. Not a bigger hammer. I think we're going to need a bigger hammer. Oh. There's a lot of weight going to come crashing down shortly. Oh. You have got a bigger hammer time. Oh my. Okay. Got to stand well back. Yes, I would. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Well, oh, it's making some nasty noises, Tone. Oh. I'm getting further back. There's bits going everywhere. Yeah, it's away. yeah but is it going to fly up and break the windows or something when it falls? There's bits behind you. Do you want to shut the shutters? Oh, Tony hasn't painted that bit. <laughs> Get ready to run. Yes. You okay? Is that hard work? Yes. <laughs> Is it actually breaking up? Yeah. So it's not going to fall in one big lump then? Right, Tony's now got himself a wedge. He's trying to break open the crack. Oh, he's heavy. Oh, yes. That made me jump. <laughs> you weren't expecting that. Now then, now all that weight is still sitting on that brickwork underneath, Tyne. Oh, yes. 
Now what? I'm going to break it up. Well, it's solid, isn't it? Oh, yes. Can you cut through it? Yeah. Well, you can't grind it. What about your um your drill hammer drill thing? Hey? Yeah, can go type thing. No, not touching it. Oh. Um. <laughs> what? Well, as you can see, it's sort of the steps have fallen down from where they were, but they're just sitting up there on that platform up there. And Tony's back down the stairs yet again. You do a lot of miles in this job, Tony. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah, it's broken some of the stone work out. That's where the the metal is embedded in the wall there. Um, and Tony's got to reinforce that somehow, some of that beam as well. It's got to be mended. Now it's going to try and cut it up. Don't stand on top of it, Tone. Sorry? Don't stand on top of it. No. No. <laughs> It's not doing a lot, is it? <laughs> I think you're, you're going to end up knocking these bricks out the bottom bit before that bit moves. It's moving there. There is a big crack in it at this end. Yeah. If I was to push that off. Sorry? If I was to push that off, what could it keep? Uh, if it bounced off of this ground and went towards the drains, that would break them. Um, obviously, uh, just underneath that little bit there is also the big drain connection thing, just under the ground there. Um, there's the window, the door. No locks then. Well, if it, yeah. Uh, you can't cut it up. You can't cut it up, no? Anyway. Yeah, but if it's in smaller pieces, it's less likely to cause as much damage. Um, what a, you can't slide it off down something, so it comes away from that. Make a slide out of something. So. We haven't got any scaffolding planks, have we? No. That would probably just break it anyway, wouldn't it? Yes. Uh, you can't move it. Can't move it at all, can you? To camp to bring it down the steps. Oh uh, no. Uh, no. Right. Okay. It it yeah, it will go over the side. It was going to have to come over the side then. But how do we protect the the drain and stuff then? Well, hopefully, if it comes over the side, it will break up. Um. Also, we've got we've got wiring and light underneath that thing. If that, well, I wish you wouldn't stand on it. If the bricks go on that end of that platform there, yeah. that's going to break all the light and everything. 
Um, hmm. Tony's to be trying to protect the pipework just a little bit, just in case something heavy does fall, because that's going to get easily damaged. <laughs> what is that? No. I'm sure we can find a use for that somewhere. Maybe in my veggie garden or something. Right. Ha. Ah, what's that going to show? What's that for? Break the fall. To break the fall? Yeah, but it's still going to go towards that pipe, isn't it? Just break the wood. <laughs> <Your words. laughs> oh, uh, that's a big crowbar. Oh my word. Oh dear. I get a sense of foreboding. I'm just hoping Tony doesn't go with it. going. Oh, I can't look. It's going to smash something. <laughs> it's getting closer to the edge. Don't go with it. Oh my, it's got stuck on that bracket. It moved. Yeah. It's dropped. Yeah. That's because you've got the weight of the stone on it. No, it's not. It's oh. I thought the whole thing was going to go then. What about my poor washing line? <laughs> That's the least of my worries. I mean, be. It could take that pole out, couldn't it? Pardon? If it if it if it drops over and comes back this way, could it not take that pole out? That pole that's about here. The pole right here. No. Oh. Mm. Oh my 
my word. It's like a seesaw yeah, now. Here, yeah. It's like a seesaw. My timber's still here, yeah? Yeah. It's, it's only to one side of that. Oh! It worked though. Oh, yes. Yeah, it worked though. Oh, my word. <laughs> well, that was exciting. Now it's happened. Hey. That was exciting. Now it's over. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to make the tea. It's just started spitting, so we're going in. And it's freezing cold. Really cold out here. Okay, so your next step is to take that other piece of the platform out. Yeah. Yeah. And and put the piece of metal in there. Yeah. Right. Put a new post in here. Okay, what are you going to make that out of? Don't know yet. Is it going to be a bigger one? Yes. Yeah, so it's going to take more of the weight. Because there'll still be a fair amount of weight up there, won't there? Oh, yeah. Then we can get rid of the acro as well. <laughs> Tomorrow you'll do something else, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, thanks for explaining that. What was that big bang? We just turned that over because I went cut it. Wow. We, we couldn't sit down, we had, we had to do something. I've got up here, I think I'm probably safer up this bit. It's not even denting it. Well that's where Tony's took those steps out from. It looks even more wonky. Are you marking the um, the most narrow spot? Yeah. yeah. Still going to be tough to chop it up though. Right. I'll let you get on with that. Hmm. Impossible! It doesn't even dent it. God, dearie me. That's hard work, isn't it? Yes. How heavy is it now Now that you've cut one of the steps? It's about uh, a third. No, well, it's about a third of the weight, yes. Okay. It's still got the piece of metal attached, though, Tone. How are you going to get that off? I think it might be easier to get a new piece of metal. Whoops! <laughs> Tony's trying to put, remove the piece of steel so he can reuse that. He's managed that, that's good. Recycle or die, Tony. 
Yeah, yeah we it. like a bit of recycling. Right, and now they're going to slice it through again and cut it into three pieces. So you're cutting through the reinforcing as well, are you? That's why it's so tough. Oh, it's a brute. We'll get there in a minute. Well, it's in three pieces, but they're still going to be really heavy, aren't they? Oh, yes. Oh, my. Okay. Oh, dear. That was hard work, wasn't it? Yes. Why is that so solid? Because it's obviously got... Oh, look, you can see it's got pieces of steel that you've had to cut through as well. But that was just so solid. Look, yeah, there's a piece there. There's bars. There's angle. Yeah, they've put a lot of steel in that, haven't they? Yeah. The concrete in itself was super strong though, wasn't it? Yes. So you, you couldn't really hardly dent it with the hammer. And you've even broken the hammer. <laughs> well, they've shut the shutters in here. I'm in the hall in the front house. And they're obviously outside where the balcony is. I'm going to find out what they're up to. They're still beavering away out there. Yeah, they've shut the shutters up, obviously, to protect the window. I think they're trying to take down that last piece of the balcony, so i better go and find out. Is he doing that bit now? He's behind you. <laughs> oh, no, he isn't. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
break up. So I'm just taking a step back now. He's going on with the hammer. Don't. Oh, don't. I'm worried about my light. Not a lot holding it up, you know, Tony. No. Stand well back. Has that not got reinforcing in it? No. Oh. Can we just protect the light first? You know what I mean? It's going to take that light out with it. That's what I'm worrying about. If it goes as one slab, what about if we wrap something around the light and you very carefully make a hole at that end? Pulling out, doesn't it? Oh, and it's pulling it out. There we go again. <laughs> it's like a Laurel and Hardy film. There is. Um, it is probably on the bench. Might be better, so yeah. No, don't do that. Oh, that's not It's getting bigger. It's all going to go in a minute. And he's trying to save it from falling on the light there, which is what his coat is hanging on. Oh, that was a big one. Camera, I'll to your oh, don't. <laughs> yeah, you better. <laughs> better get ready to save him, bud. <laughs> your braces <laughs> <laughs> Some big lumps falling now. Let's hope it's not going to be Tony following it. <laughs> so 
Sonny Pate's trying to grab him in case he falls. <laughs> He's overstretched himself a bit there, Tone. Whoa! Nearly there. Just retirement, I can't What did you say? Retirement is not what it's cracked up to be. No. Yes. Retire to France and renovate a whole set of houses. <laughs> Obviously, where your foot is, where the light is there, yeah. you've got a whole row of bricks still yeah. to come out. We should have just tied him to the balcony, shouldn't we, so that he couldn't fall off. <laughs> I strapped you on the balcony. It's a big pile of it now. Yeah. That's where she's filming from. What are you doing? I need a uh, mustache, I've got to be short, I think. Smaller, smaller level. Um, yes, please, mate. Yeah. Oh, sorry, that's all right. That's amazing, blue sky. Well, I'm going to cut that one, didn't I? And the tape measure, please, Tan. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Tan's well, being the gopher. Yeah. <laughs> sorry.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jack. Yeah, your knees. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit late now. <laughs> so he's found the steel. So what's the plan? Well, we haven't got one yet, but what we're thinking of is because that steel's only this big. Yeah. It means I've got to build it up from here to here with something. Okay. With well, another piece of steel, you mean? I could then bolt a little angle on on there, couldn't I? You know what I mean? What you're trying to do is make a trough for that little No, that, that one there, that's only a flat plate, that's not bent. And that just sits in here. So what I have to do is I have to make something to go on that wall. Or sit, what will you put an angle or something on that wall? Something like that. Yeah. And then are you going to fill it in with concrete again? No. No. That's so right. that are we going to? Um, your steps are going to go from that piece where you are now. Yes. You'll step here. upwards. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, I've done this last little bit out here, Tone, and then I'll put the grinder through there, see if I can't get a nice, Tidy nice up. cut. <laughs> a little bit of a mess in the courtyard this morning. It's going to be a couple of tips, uh, tip runs, I think. Trips to the Deschettery. We have some very special guests this evening. We have Patrick coming with his parents, but we also have another couple, and they're currently on a tour around France looking at various different chateaus. 